so quiet. I like this. What's up guys, Mr. JWW here and I am in a very privileged position. We have just picked up the new Rolls-Royce Black Badge. I'm here with Justin from Don Law and Tom, who's an engineer from Rolls-Royce. Um, and the format is that Justin, when you see this, will have taken this car up the Goodwood Festival of Speed hill climb. And I think I'm right in saying that that will be its first sort of rolling debut. Sure will. And for Justin, you're actually a, a sort of veteran of that hill climb. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've uh, won the hill climb about five times now in the, in the big Group C Jag. And I've uh, been driving yeah. for rolls for a couple of years. Fabulous, man. These fantastic rates. Yeah. So, five years winning, what's the plan here? I mean, is this just more of an experience or are you actually going to try and set a record for this class? Um, there's never really a record uh, aimed at, okay. um, but we just want to better, better the last run. Yeah. And every time go quicker. Brilliant. That's a swell of talk in this. Yeah. So much talk. Wow. Yeah, so come Sunday afternoon then, is that supposed to be your sort of hottest lap or will you've gone through all of the tyres by then? Well, generally at Goodwood you go quicker every run, oh, that's right, yeah. the idea, sure. um, weather permitting it. I'm not sure what the weather's going to do uh, at Goodwood this year. So. Yeah, we haven't really had much of a summer so far. We've not, we? it's very on off, it's either wet or dry so yeah, that, that might hinder some of the runs. Um, but generally you want to go quicker on every run, so normally the last run is the quickest. Yeah, yeah. cool. And so am I right in thinking that this is this is the sort of most capable, fastest roll that you've ever made? Yep, so we've got um, 624 brake horsepower and you mentioned about the swell of torque. Yeah, there is. It, it feels thick, you know? Sure, it's we fantastic. have 870 newton metres of torque. Christ. So um, plenty it is there. not hanging around there. Definitely not. And so... Obviously, the name Black Badge, when you first hear that, you automatically think enhanced, maybe pimped it out almost, but it's not just an aesthetic change, is it? There are actual upgrades in the engine. Exactly. So our, our main upgrade um, is with the, the way the car feels and the way the car drives. You have mm -hmm. a slightly stiffer suspension setup mm -hmm. as well as steering. Um, and also the shifting um, capabilities of the car. Yeah. Um, so the, through the gear shifts, it's much, much more responsive. Right. Much more intuitive to the driver. And that's because in this model, you've upgraded the gearbox, right? We have upgraded the gearbox um, uh, for the, with the ZF 8HP95. Right. Um, so we can, we can now take this for 870 Newton meters of torque. But yeah, I mean, that is some twisting power. Sure is. Fantastic, man. Well, it certainly feels like it does not hang around, man. <laughs> and uh, brakes? Are there any up upgrades there, or no? Brakes are, are as was on the on the Rolls Royce Wraith. Okay. Perfectly capable. Yeah. Um, so I guess then from day one, obviously these brakes have been built to deal with quite a large car. Exactly. Um, so during your testing of this, you didn't find a, any need. Absolutely not. The, to upgrade the, them, as it were. No, the way the the way our customers are driving the cars, mm. um, you know. It's a bit like this, yeah? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Cool. Is this car out now to actually order? Nope, so we launched the car at Geneva Motor Show mm -hmm. um, a few months ago. Yeah. Um, and this is currently one of our press vehicles, so the mm. lucky folks um, press will be able to drive this over the coming months um, and then we'll be able to be available from August onwards to customers. So, so to be here, mate, it's awesome. It's Privileged. fantastic. First yeah. to drive, first to be in, but it's got up so it's much torque. It just sounds good. It sounds brilliant. Wow. I mean that pulls, man. <laughs> wow. And yet we're flying and in here it is it's like a health spa. <laughs> it's it's so quiet. That front end turn is good look. It is. Yeah. You got your seat massage on. No, this is what I want. I want to be, you can have a massage uh, while you're driving too. So we could be setting hill climb records and getting a massage. Exactly. I like this. I like this a lot, man. It's very cool. Isn't it great? Yeah. I love the black as well. It looks amazing. The spirit of ecstasy in black. Yeah. That's cool. Black tower. That's pretty really cool. Yeah. Carbon wheels look fantastic. Yeah, so where did the idea of the 
wheels come from? I mean, is that for weight saving or is that just because it's awesome? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because it's awesome. <laughs> because it's all. So that's why I, I like that. That's really good. So the wheels on the black badge um, are a sort of hybrid. The outer is all exactly. carbon. Right. Yeah, the rim is um, carbon fiber. Right. Um, and the spokes are um, an alloy composite. Right. Um, and the two are bonded uh, bonded together to create this ultra strong wheel that, that just looks really awesome. It just looks so good. And even though this car is still the performance upgraded version, there's no compromise in luxury. It's not been stripped out or anything in no. terms of weight. There's absolutely no compromise in, in the luxury when you drive. Um, you still have that Rolls Royce feel. Yeah. You still have that Rolls Royce comfort when you want it, as well as having the dynamic element to the drive as well. And so when the production versions hit the road, Will they be on a uh, ride that you can soften and, and harden, or will it always be? No, fixed, so fixed Rolls Royce, like we don't have switchable modes. Okay. Um, we always have we have the same modes. The only thing we do have is the low mode in the gearbox sure. um, to enable a slightly sportier shifting pattern. Yeah. Am I right in thinking that this was set up because clients' demands these days are often different? They'll take a car from factory and then want to do their own things to it. Yeah, exactly. So really appeals to to a lot of the younger market now. The, the Wraith um, yeah. was the start of that for Rolls Royce. Yeah. And now the Black Badge even more so, you know, really sporty look and feel in the car. Yes. Um, aiming to appeal to the younger the younger market. It's got so much road presence as well, yeah. Yeah. Did you um, stiff up the suspension? It is stiffer. Yeah. Um, but that's black badge stiffness, not what we've done. Right. For in particular for Festival Speed, all with Starlight Headliner comfort yeah. of hand stitched leather seats. So is the the story true? This is the constellation over Goodwood. This this was initially developed yet yeah, with yeah. the constellation over Goodwood on the very first day that the factory opened. So I mean that's attention to detail. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that is um, madness. But. With our bespoke program, yeah, um, we can we can make any kind of patterns in the headliner. Oh, um, wow. We've done constellations on people's birthdays and some really really cool stuff. I mean, yeah. bespoke really is what Rolls Royce is about. And so, with the black line, is the idea to take that to the next stage? Yeah. So the black line is to give that to offer the customer that little bit of edge um, off a standard wraith, right. and then still then. From there on, the customer's imagination is really right. The sky is the limit. Yes, they truly, with yeah. the old We were kind of uh, in our heads building the the ultimate sort of Goodwood car when we were yeah. running last time. Yeah. And I was sort of asking what, what kind of materials can we get on the doors? And actually, we talked about the carbon back then, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. we did. Yeah. Um, I, I, I was building the blue 220 with all yeah. the carbon bits here and here and there. We were thinking a blue one with the with the carbon might look really uh, cool. All right, and that's it. That's the first experience in the new Rolls Royce Wraith Black Badge. It was short and sweet. I've got to say a big thank you to Rolls Royce and of course Don and Justin at Dunlaw Racing. See you next time, guys. Ciao.